Hello everybody, it's Drew Cola here, and welcome to the final episode of Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 2. In the last episode, we took care of worlds 5 and 6, and in this one, we're going to take care of world 7, which is the final world of the game, and, uh, then we are going to, I'll show you how to warp. So, yeah, let's get started with Toad. Alright, so this is world 7. Now, um, world 7, unlike every single other world, actually has only two levels. Every world has three levels, but this one only has two. And honestly, thank God, because it's pretty annoying. So, um, here, I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, so, so this is actually, this is a really weird level. This is not the way to go, but I really want to get the mushrooms and, and some coins, uh, because this is a hard, this is not an easy level. Uh, I, of course, these next two levels are, are not easy at the slightest. So, yeah, so... Ow! That's okay, though, because there is a door right here with another mushroom in this room right here. So, let's do that. <clears throat> so, how's everybody doing today? Today is Thursday, January 26th. Also, the same day that this gets uploaded... Hooray for my irresponsibility to record. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so what you gotta do is you gotta uh, do a. S oh, that was stupid. I com I completely jumped up there. Uh, you gotta do a super jump onto these albatross. Now there actually there are actual birds called albatross, but since they like toss bombs, they made like a play on words with albatross and albatross. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Anyway, considering I, I lost already uh, one of my hearts, uh, I call myself screwed, pretty much. Um, because these stupid sniffets, you have no idea when they are going to fire. That's what I hate about these guys. It really sucks. So, oh jeez. Okay, so now let's go over here. This episode's probably going to have really bad commentary, because I'll be like, ooh. Sometimes there's a there's a ninji right here, sometimes there's not. Hooray for sometimes not appearing enemies. No, actually, hooray for that, because that's very nice. And then this next part, uh, it's pretty easy. You just got to deal with some sparkies along the way. I think that's what these guys are called. Uh, unfortunately, with Toad, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get one of these blocks and deal with two of these little jerks. Quickly! Okay, jeez, that was close. Whew, glad I made it. And up here, we got to deal with more stuff. Okay, look at that. There, of course, is supposed to be another Sniffit on that, uh, on that other, like, s p pillar right there. And he's not, he's not there. So, what the heck? Whatever. And Toad's head was kind of sticking out there in the doorway. Anyway, this is the, the, not the very last fight of Birdo. Actually, there is one more, I think, after this. I threw that in a very bad spot. I'm not, I'm not happy about that. Uh, I think I can just go ahead and restart the room, because that, that seriously is a really bad spot for me to put it. Let's go ahead and restart the room. Yay, it's here again, okay. Okay, cool, two hits already. And third hit. There we go, baby! We got it. Awesome. Alright. <laughs> Wait, what? Did you guys see that? He just reappeared. What the heck, man? I wonder what would have happened if I killed him a second time. Like, what, like would he have dropped the thing? Maybe not. So let's see if I can actually get a one-up out of this. Jesus. Dude. I swear, this slot machine was really hard. Oh yeah, and I actually was wrong in uh, one of my previous episodes of this. I was wrong about the slot machines. In the GBA version, it's the exact same as that version. Because I actually did go back and watch a video of this game on the Game Boy Advance. And yeah, it's the same way. But I'm pretty sure for the Super Nintendo, they, they changed it. I think that's where they changed it to. You hit it once and it hits all three times, so... Ah, uh, great. Yes, yeah, so you got these guard sniffets. And here's the fort. Um, it's not too bad. It's more it's more long than hard, so So, yeah, shut up everybody. Oh god. Okay, so this part really sucks cuz Okay, I, yeah, like oh, there we go. I guess that works. I should get a heart for for that, but no, the game wants to be mean. 
but luckily uh, the mushrooms are, are in locations that are not very difficult to uh, overlook, uh, except maybe a little bit difficult to get uh, get in. Okay, well I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, I'm back at this point right here, um, and uh, yeah, so now what we gotta do is I think we can go down. Uh, yeah, this place is basically just a huge maze. It's not the funnest level in the game, obviously. It's not the most difficult, I'd say. I think right here, see, this kind of proves it. Oh, jeez, I went right through that guy. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes there's a glitch of that happening. Um, I think right here I'm basically forced to take a hit, unless I do it perfectly, like I just did. Cool. Okay, yeah, well, I was... Oh, jeez. Oh, God! So is that just, like, another way to go, or... I don't know. I think right here. Oh, it's this door right here that can take can take the mushroom. At least I hope. Please. Yeah. Yes, it does. I think I don't know where the other one is, but I'm pretty sure this is the last mushroom in the game. And also that coin right there. Really, no point in getting it. But you know why not? God. Oh. Thanks. Jeez. At least I didn't get hit. I don't know how I didn't. Honestly. Oh god, hi. Okay, be careful here. Okay, we made it. Alright. Yeah, this is a really long level. And, uh... Like, I've said this millions of times. It's not the hardest level, but it's not the easiest either, of course. Because it's the final level of the game. The boss, actually... I haven't fought the boss in years. Yeah, really, I have not completely completed this in like years it's crazy and that star is literally ungettable so or on it untouchable so hurrah hurrah okay can we just go I really don't care because that's just four cherries all right up to the store up here god thank god I have princess on this level princess will always be my favorite character in this game just because of her floating ability, honestly. Now, I'm pretty sure this level is actually kind of similar to 3-3, th uh, three, three, if you ever remember that, where there are just tons of different ways to go. Uh, this part... Uh, oh, okay, I, you could do that. That part right there, though, you have to, like, get... You have to get enough time to do a jump. Uh, uh, a big jump, yeah. You have, to, you have to have enough time to do that. Anyway, yeah, we've been doing this for a while, so... Yeah. Anyway, here's Birdo. This is the last F Birdo fight. This is the very last one. So, yeah, we gotta kill Birdo as a little mini-boss. Just like that. And one more. And... <sighs> Dang it. And there she goes! Okay. Actually, no, that is not the last Birdo. I thought it was. What was I thinking? Anyway, here we have boss music, so things are picking up here. Don't want to go up there, actually. Okay, that worked. So our goal is to go in this door right here, but we do not have the key. So let's go. I don't know what's it. Okay, no, nothing really. Let's go in this door and uh, uh what, dude? Dang it. Okay, we're fine. I think we're fine. Oh God. This is not a very good spot. So, this is the last Birdo of the game, by the way. You have to kill this Birdo. Dude, come on! Kill this Birdo. There we go. Okay, one more hit. One more hit is gonna do it. Oh, of course I miss. Can you throw three, please? I swear, you don't have a pattern sometimes. Why are you only throwing two, dude? Okay, throw your last cycle. Okay, good. So let's pick up this key and hurry to that door. Last thing that's gonna chase us! Oh my god. Go. Key. God. Conveyor belt. Good. Okay. Okay, use the key to destroy these guys, and, oh wow, that worked. Okay, now take it to the door, and we don't ever have to worry about those guys again. So now, got what we gotta do, approaching us very carefully. Oh, that's the end right there, so let's pick this up and go. But, here we have the mini-boss. We have the Hawkeye. Yeah, 
This guy's not too bad. All you gotta do is hit him three times with this, and he's dead. Except, I don't think I've actually ever died to this guy. Huh. Uh. You know, wow. <laughs> Be right back. Hello! Alright, I'm back. Oops, did not mean to do that. Okay, so I'm back here at this place. Now, something I figured out is that uh, I kind of want to plan before I do this. Uh, so you're going to want to throw your blocks about right there. To, just to make it a little bit easier. Because some characters, it's a little bit hard to jump uh, on these pillars here. Oh god, how did I not get hit there? Dude! Okay, cool. And then, one more hit. No problem. Alright, so let's go in his mouth. And now we are in the final boss area. The final boss of this game, believe it or not, isn't Bowser, but it is this frog named Wart. Yes, that is the final boss of this. And this guy, I'm pretty sure, has only had one appearance in all video games. This guy has not made any other return. And they need to bring him back for the Switch. Come on, game. Bring this guy in Super Mario Odyssey, will ya? Because we haven't seen him since 1988, I think. It might have been 7. That's whenever this game was made. Anyway, the way to beat this guy is you have to avoid his bubbles by getting into a little space. And uh, y you have to... You basically just hold down the run button the whole fight, and you have to catch the plants that come out of these horns. Uh, so, yeah, make sure you do that. So, you gotta pick one up, and uh, you have to throw them in his mouth when his mouth is open. So, let's get one. And his mouth is open right here. Oh, that sucked. Now, yes, the bubbles, for whatever reason, are really tough and durable. So, um... Uh... The bubbles will kill any plant in their way. Gosh darn it, man. I'm just hitting it too high. I'm just going too high. Oh, jeez! Okay, come on. I can do this. There we go. Is he dead? Oh, no. So, I believe that this guy takes, like, about uh, six hits. It's either six or seven hits. But, honestly, this guy's not that bad. In fact, I really like this boss battle. You just gotta get in between two bubbles and just... There, there, bam, there you go. Okay, so... There we go, and is he dead? Nope. Still not dead. He'll never be dead. Uh-oh, that's not good. Dude! I might die here. Just get this. Okay, there we go. Alright. That was stupid! I didn't even need to throw it! And now I'm not running. Okay, please tell me he's dead. I th uh, What? Also, I kind of just realized, it looks like he has hair. Is that, like, on the back of him? Is it, is it just me, or does he look like... That might be something he's wearing. I don't know. I can't really f focus that much on it right now, because I'm focus focusing on, like, avoiding these bubbles here. But, jeez. And these plants, like, it's completely random what horn these plants come out of. Alright, please. He's dead! Game completed. By far, my worst Mario 2 run completed. Thank God. That was awful. And I'm not doing this. But apparently what Wart did was he trapped these nice civilians. And that's it. We're done. So there's a uh, princess. And I don't know why it says 6 in the Mario and princess. It's supposed to, it's supposed to be 5555, five, 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 but... I don't know why it says sixes. And also, I don't know why Mario is a little bit darker. I think all the characters are a little bit darker standing on that pedestal. Anyway, we're about to find out the huge thing about this game. Come on. Are you going to show it yet? Yep, this whole game was Mario's dream. Yep. Man. Mar yeah, <laughs> just think about that for a sec. All that trouble we went through. All of that trouble was a dream. I think I really, next time, I really need to pay attention, like, like, look up, like, um, the story of this game, because I never really paid attention to it, because there is the story uh, in the beginning if you just wait out the long cutscene a little bit. 
like there's that story but still like there's more you know alright so here we got all the the uh what the enemies that's a bezo okay right when I see these enemies I'm gonna immediately like remember tweeter bob bomb hoop star some of these enemies just don't look familiar at all trouter that's the guy who was jumping out of the water. Pidgey? Or Pid Pidget? Or Pidgey? I don't know. Panzer? That's what those guys are called. Flurries? I call them Kirby's. Albatoss? Fanto? That's what those guys are called. They're called Sparks! I thought they were called Sparkies for whatever reason. Subcon. Pokey. Birdo. It, the, the, okay, these two are flip-flopped. I have no idea why that that that's called Ostro, because it should be flipped flipped around because they're not cobrat mauser fry guy claw grip there's claw grip i did not remember his name try clyde all right and i believe that's it not a very long credit sequence i really like that i love short credits there's wart hopefully we'll see you in the future in real life wait maybe that's why we haven't seen him because he's in a dream I always thought he would be a, a, a good Mario Kart player. Anyway, that is the end of Super Mario Bros. 2. Thank you everybody for watching. I'm, I like I like to apologize for this incredibly awful run. I, I, this run is, I just, I can't even, I can't even say words right now. That's how, that's how bad this run was. Anyway, um, yeah, I can't press any buttons. It's not letting me do anything. You hear me? That's the shaky gamepad. Anyway, yep. So that's it. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I will see you, um, what is, what's this, Thursday. I will see you guys on Sunday for part one of Super Mario Bros. 3. Bye. <laughs>